All right, I'm going to show you a little bit about using Screencast-O-Matic to record some screen captures so you can flip some lessons uh, for your classroom. Um, first thing that I did was actually I set up a Google presentation in Google Drive. I created a new presentation, gave it a title, and I created a few slides, kind of like PowerPoint. And you could use PowerPoint if you wanted to. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Screencast-O-Matic. Go to the launch pad find Screencast-O-Matic. Go ahead and click on the Screencast-O-Matic button. We're going to use the free version. Free version will let you make one video at a time. You can see it now pops up and there's this viewing window this or the uh, frame at which you'll record everything inside of this. <clears throat> so I'm going to drag this around and I'm going to use a Google presentation so I'm going to hover it uh, over the slides that I want recorded. When I'm ready, um, we go ahead and click the record button. Next to the record button, we also have a microphone. You can see uh, you can turn this on or off. You can change the volume to make sure that the volume is adjusted uh, appropriately. The next button here changes the screen size to different defaults, or like you saw me use, you can drag by the corners. This last button here turns on the webcam if you'd like your webcam to be recorded. So you can see here, we're going to turn the webcam on. When I'm ready to record, you hit record. Countdown occurs, and now Screencast O Matic is recording. Hi, we're going to use Screencast O Matic to re record a screen capture lesson. And this is my tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is open Screencast O Matic. I already told you how to do that. Second thing you're going to do is change the. Uh, Check the audio, check the screen size, turn the webcam on or off if you like a webcam. And then uh, what you're going to do is click the record button you saw here. These are the other, uh, this is the toolbar for Screencast-O-Matic. And so these, this is the microphone on and off, this is the screen size, and this is the webcam. This last one is uh, closing Screencast-O-Matic. Then what you want to do is uh, when you you completed your, your screen capture, you're going to click Done and then choose Publish to Video File. So let's show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. You can see it gives me a preview of what I just recorded. I can play the preview. Now Screencast-O-Matic is recording. Hi, we're going to use Screencast-O-Matic to re record. I'm going to pause that. What's cool about Screencast-O-Matic, I can move the webcam around and I can make it smaller if it was just a little bit too big and you can place that somewhere else on the screen. Finally, I told you we're going to publish this video so go ahead and hit publish video file. We're going to choose the quick time. I'm going to leave it at its full size and these other uh, uh, options I'm just going to leave blank and click save video. Choose a name for the video. Screencast-O-Matic example is mine. I'm going to choose a location. I'm just going to throw it on the desktop. Hit save. Take a few moments for this to process. Once it's processed, your video will be ready to view from where you saved it. So you can see it's processed. It saved my video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hit back and uh, tell it that I'm done with the video. And uh, I can go ahead and go to my desktop and find my video. Here it is. And see if my video is now working. Now Screencast-O-Matic is recording. Hi, we're going to use Screencast-O-Matic. There you go. So that's how you use Screencast-O-Matic to record a, a video.